Okay. Now, another thing that Mrs. J, the first lady, did was she did a tag. I have not done a tag in a long time. I just, it's just been, again, really, really difficult. I'm trying to get caught up with 11th grade, trying to get my son prepared for college. And this coming year is going to be even worse because I'm going to have to be contacting colleges. This coming year is going to be even harder. Um, but so I don't have time to really uh, do the tags. So I kind of got out of doing that. I used to love doing it because it's just a way to get to know people. Uh, but this one I thought was cute. It was short. And I said, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to um, try this one. Um, and she didn't write down the question. So I just kind of like scribbled down what I heard her asking. So this is called the grade eight tag. Um, and the first question is, what do your significant others, uh, past and present, find most annoying in you? Um, I never had that many boyfriends. I think that I, when I was a teenager, the first thing, this is really unhealthy actually, the first thing a guy and a girl looks at, at least when I was growing up in New York City was, it's like you're, once you, you're, you start dating, you're like husband and wife. Um, and so in my mind, I feel that, you know, this is going to be, this is going to be forever. And I think I was just too clingy. Um, so yeah, I think I was too clingy and guys didn't like that. So it never like would work out. Um, because guys, you know, especially Puerto Rican guys from New York, they wanted to be playing around. They were players. They didn't think about any serious relationship but god forbid they would see you with another guy oh how a break loose it's like you're married but anyway that's a whole nother subject but anyway uh i think that and probably my husband would tell you now the same thing that um mrs j said was i would yell at him do not do the wrong thing to me because i will flip out on him my daughter says why do you flip out like that? I give my whole life to this man. You, I give my whole self to this man. I expect this man to treat me right. So the littlest thing he does wrong, I will jump down his throat. And I'm, again, it's something I need to work on. But yeah. <laughs> um, what is something, number two is, what is something you eat and will never eat again? Probably a few things. Um, I, it used to be celery. I think celery is so overpowering that it takes away the flavor of anything you eat. And I have super intense taste buds. I like to eat, taste what I'm eating. If I'm making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, I got to taste the peanut butter and jelly. It's got to be perfect. Um, so celery takes away the flavor from stuff. But I've learned if you put just a little bit, I can live with it. But there, I think there's, I'm, I'm very particular. Like, I don't like Brussels sprouts. I will, I tried that once. I will not eat that again. I do not like asparagus. I will not eat that again. Um, so I think probably those three things, um, even like I've kind of a little bit of celery I can tolerate. Uh, what is a self-inflicted accident? That's what I scribbled. I don't know if that's the exact question, but, um, I used to be a stock girl. And you have to take these razors and slice open those boxes. And I wasn't careful. And I, I cut up my whole, my hands and my arms. I can't even find the scar anymore. But um, I just just cut myself up with those razors. Um, it was just, I just, you would go, and, oh, cut myself. It was horrible. Um, did I ever get into any fights at school? <laughs> I was... If you're Hispanic, you know this word. Um, I was up in there, huh? <laughs> I used to get picked on. Um, I hope that's not a vulgar word. No, I, to me, it just means I was like a sucker. I just Everybody just walked all over me. Um, I was always afraid. I don't know why I was always afraid, but I was. I was always afraid. Um, and I didn't like fights. So... In order for me to get into a fight, I had to really like be pushed into it. And of course, girls like to see fights. And this one girl, I was always the biggest girl in school. And yet I was the biggest sucker. But there was one girl who was even bigger than me. And one girl instigated a fight between us. They lied and started spreading because they just wanted to see a fight. So they lied and said, oh, you know what she said about you? I was like, oh, well, well, she's this. And then they would say that to her. And then she would come back and say, well, she's that. And it was all, it was just that the girls were starting to instigate. 
And when we went out into the schoolyard, the girls wanted to see a fight so bad, especially the older girls. They literally pushed us into each other until we started fighting. And I remember I didn't want to fight until the girl hit me in my eye. And I just blacked out and went crazy on her. It was horrible. And so, <laughs> the and then there was just, I think that I can remember just one other fight that was similar. It was, it, it was really uh, my fault. She, I think she used to hang out with girls from the gangs. And every time I liked a guy, she would go after him. And so I got mad and said something ugly about her. I mean, I was a teenager, stupid. Yeah, I think I was like 12 and... So she got mad and, you know, comes with all the girls from the gang. And again, they start pushing us together. And again, again, the girl hit me in my eye. And again, I just blanked out and went crazy on her. And I was wearing a ring that, that had, it was a star ring. It was a crystal star. And I cut up her, oh my goodness, I messed up her face. I just blacked out. So, you know, uh, those were the two fights that, you know, just, you know, stupid stuff. It was I was never the type of girl who liked to fight or anything. I think because of being bullied so much is that now I'm like, you know, don't mess with me. You know, it's like enough is enough. I can take something so I can't take it anymore. Um, something that gives me peace of mind. If you've been watching me, I've been up for like two and a half years. Um, having God in my life. Having the Lord in my life. Uh, having Jesus in my life. Um, you know, that's what gives me peace of mind. I don't like to say I'm from any religion. I don't even go to church anymore. I just believe in the Bible. I believe what the Bible says. I believe in God. I believe that Jesus is his son. And I believe that Jesus looks out for me. And that seriously is the only thing that gives me peace of mind. Because life is hard. Life is hard. And without having that to hold on to, to know that the Lord watches over me, I will go crazy. I will go out of my mind with worry because I have a really bad problem with worrying. So, yeah. Um, did I lie to keep out of trouble? I was a horrible liar. I seldom lied. because Well, I seldom lied because it just showed. It just showed. When I became a teenager, I did lie uh, or avoided my parents if I did something wrong. But I'm just a terrible liar. You know, I, I, that finally stopped, I think, when I was a young adult. And I, you know, dedicated my life to the Lord. Uh, that stopped. <laughs> the worst way for a person to break up with me, I don't know. Uh, what would be the worst way to break up with me? I don't know. I, I guess, I mean, people say, you know, breaking up with you over the internet, I guess that would like really be cowardice. You know, you can face me. <laughs> um, if we if for some reason, we just absolutely can't face each other. You know, you can phone me. So I guess that would be it. Um, you know, um, I think my camera set to turn off after a certain amount of time. Okay. If I could cook, what would be the favorite thing for someone to cook for me? I just love Puerto Rican cooking. I love my own, uh, my own cooking of, uh, you know, of my culture. <laughs> Not that my cooking is the best. I'm saying my culture's cooking. Oh my goodness. So my husband, um, when he, he cooks a Spanish meal, he goes all out. Uh, or I should say a Puerto Rican meal because the Mexicans and the Spaniards and the Puerto Ricans and, you know, Cubans uh, all have different styles of cooking. So, um, you know, he'll, he'll really go all out. Like last Sunday he cooked for me cause I, I went to see Harry Potter and oh my goodness, it was like more better than mine. I'm like, what did you do? You got to tell me what you did so I can make the cooking taste as good as this. Not that my cooking's all that. So yeah, that would be it. So, that's it. <laughs> so I love you all and I will see you next week with some cream look because I just remembered I still can't do the berries and cream <laughs> um so I love you Mwah. see you next week